if, if you all had the uh, the one false start on Saturday, but uh, much improved from the North Carolina road game. Uh, how, how much of an emphasis was on on that prior week? Yeah, I mean, we've really been harping on them, just trying to cut out those stupid penalties, kind of what we say. So we still had one, which we can't have any of those. I mean, it hurt that drive, too. So, I mean, anytime you have those penalties, it really hurts. So, yeah, we cut down, but we still, I mean, those should be zero. I mean, so we're still still working on it. A few games uh, less than we've grown to expect out of Travis ETA. Last couple of games, it seems like the old Travis. What, what's maybe been different these past couple of weeks about him? Um, I don't know. I mean, that's, I feel like that would be a question for him. But, I mean, he's just – I guess he's just being Travis. I mean, he may have had a one bad game, but, I mean, he's just being who he is and he's just being a playmaker. I mean, that's just kind of all he is. Do you pay attention to any of the national narrative that people think the Cubs offense is where it should be at this point in the season, given the talent? Uh, I mean, yeah, you definitely see some of that stuff. But, I mean, it, we try to keep things within our walls. I mean, they, these – People outside of it, they have no idea kind of what's going on inside our room, what we're doing. So it, it, it's something that we, I kind of see, but I try not to let it affect me too much because I just, they have, I know that they don't really know what's going on inside these walls kind of thing. So it's just something that we strive to be our best each week. And honestly, man, I don't think we've played our best football yet. I mean, we really haven't. We've had a lot of mistakes. There's been some plays that's been left out there. So there's a lot of stuff that we can improve on as an offense. And um, that's just something that we strive to do each week is to be our best each week. Isn't that kind of the point, though? You guys seem like we're playing your best football at the end of last year. <laughs> <coughs> you know, November, December, January, that was your best football. Isn't that kind of what you guys are aiming for? Uh, I mean, yeah, we just strive to get better each week. Um, it's just kind of something we have to do. I mean, if you can't be happy and just stay consistent, I guess be happy with what was kind of already begun. Like, I guess what you've already had preseason. So you just got to keep getting better each week. And that's just kind of a monster that you have to have because when you get complacent and just happy with what you've done, then that's when the offenses start to really just break down and just not get better. You, you go against your defensive line every day in practice. You've seen those young guys kind of develop since August. Uh, how impressed are you with what they've been able to accomplish so far? I mean, I think they've been great. I mean, I, I knew they would be great. Everybody questioned what our D-line would be like after we lost everybody. And just seeing them in spring and just fall camp and all that, I knew they were going to be the real deal. I mean, people were going to be surprised with how they play. But just watching them practice and their mindset that they want to step up to the plate and accept that challenge, and I really think they have and more. I mean, I've been very, really impressed with them. Did you think there would be some growing pains so with the defense? Maybe take a month to kind of get the rack together? It seems like right out of the gate they've been late so. Um. I don't. I never really. I wasn't really worried. I don't think so. I mean, just how Coach V and just all of them. I mean, the whole staff over there just gets everybody ready. I mean, there's never. It's not like we're. Um, I guess trying to. What's the say? I'm, I'm gonna forget. I'm screwed up. So I'm just, whatever. But it's not like we're just going out there and just hoping that they'd be good or whatever. I mean, they've prepared, and that's just kind of what it goes into the preparation. I mean, each week, uh, I just look back at fall camp. I mean, they just worked and grind. I mean, they're out here extra, and it, and that just kind of goes back to the guys that were in front of them that really showed how things are supposed to be done. And that's just harks back to Christian and all those guys that really just taught the guys. The younger guys that are still here, they're kind of the veteran group uh, guys now. That how things need to be done, and I'm just, I think I mean, I've just been impressed with them really. Stands out to you about Boston College's defense? Uh, I mean, they're just they they don't have they don't quit. I think that's the biggest thing. I mean, they're not always the most most as most most athletic. Jeez, I can't talk. Um, but they just they don't quit. They they're strong. They're tough. They're physical, and they just keep getting after you. And um, I mean that speaks a lot to their defense. It's nice. I mean, he, uh, there's no more. There's no no one on this team that deserves it more than Wrench. I mean, he's a he's a great teammate, great guy. Um, I'm very happy for him, and glad he really finally got one. Thank you. Thanks,